All right, now continuing the unboxing of this Canon 80D, let's take a look at uh, the live view performance of this new sensor and some of the focusing. So right here I have the Sigma um, 18 to 35 1.8 uh, art lens. There's a couple of things on my desk here. Let's take a look at this live view, how this does for tracking. Um, pretty impressive already. It's uh, picked up on BB-8 uh, pretty well. Let's see if you can see again just how we're set up here. And then on the screen here, we can see that we can actually do a focus roll. Um, sorry, I have my tripod mount under here, so I'll prop this up a bit. There we go. So we can see how we can just tap to focus. And we can do a roll right here between BB-8 like that. This is an STM lens, but you can see, let's see if we can bring this guy even out closer, that we can have this focus pretty well between the two. Yeah, well, it tracks some of this too. That's pretty impressive that it can detect in the live view motion tracking and maintain the focus here as we move them around the scene. You can see that BB 8 stays focused here. Let's take a look. Uh, auto focus points here. So we have 45 point auto selection. Looks like we have a manual point selection where we can select any one of these new 45 points. A zone selection. Looks like we have one, two, three, so nine different zones that you can select from. Or three large zones here. And then again, all 45 points. So this adds another layer of autofocus, it looks like, to our arsenal here. So again, this is getting some of those wider shots now. Let's see if we can have, again, a pretty good look. And, you know, that shows how... This can pick up a little bit on a better autofocus now, especially in live view. Pretty cool. Uh, another thing that's imp more impressive of this is reportedly the dynamic range, especially in uh, lower light, higher ISO. So let's just test out some of this function. What we're gonna do is just flip out some of these lights here. There we go. And then let's tune this ISO. Let's actually see what it just runs at right now. This is kicking up to a thousand. So there's a thousand. I'll take a look at how well this looks. At a thousand. Pretty impressive. It's compared to hundred at full zoom we're seeing that new the the new sensor here with the extra pixels and the new way that Canon is processing some of the sensor actually structurally is reducing some of that noise and you're seeing some improvement there let's push this a little more let's use a custom ISO here we're at a thousand. Let's go up to 6400 and see how this looks. Look at BB 8 again. Let's take a look up there close. BB 8, still pretty good. Even at 6400, we're seeing some of that extra noise in the background and 
edges are showing a little bit more noise. But again, this seems to have less artifact, even ostensibly, than uh, previously on the 70D. And, you know, this new sensor is the reason why I decided to make the incremental upgrade. Pushing all the way to, it looks like 16,000 on the ISO here. Let's see what we can do. And then here. So that's 16,000. You know, so it seems quite functional, even functional, even high on the ISO count. Um, this video doesn't do the image here necessary justice because uh, even at 16,000 ISO it was pretty clean and I could probably not tell a good difference between these images at different ISOs obviously that one because the lighting is different but you know at uh, 1000 which was on auto pushing that to 16,000 you know really can't tell too much of a difference in here and at full crop it's uh, again a large improvement I would say uh, in a non-scientific uh, fashion that this uh, 80D does seem to be a step up on its predecessor as far as the uh, sensor goes. I'm excited to see what Canon will offer in its full, full frame uh, 5D upgrade as uh, this will probably be my uh, crop sensor uh, camera but I'm looking forward to a, a full frame upgrade from the 5D Mark III. All right well thanks for watching and hopefully our videos in the future will share some of the 80D um, camera uh, and uh, some of its options to uh, take some of these films.